To get started with our ad design, we have some very specific ad specifications to follow. So anytime you're designing for a client for an ad, they will hopefully already have this information for you. If not, you can contact uh, whomever will be printing this ad to get this information. So we can create any one of these sizes you want if you want to follow along with the assets I provide and make something different. I'm going to show you how to create a full page ad just because I want to show you some different terms like trim, safety, and bleed. I'm going to zoom in real quick so we can see what this means here. All right, so starting with the bleed size, this is the actual size of the document we're going to be creating. We'll go ahead and use Photoshop for this. You could create the ad in Illustrator or InDesign. I feel like I have more design control in Photoshop, so that's what I'll be using today. That dotted line represents how big the file will be. This blue line, this trim size, represents how big the page will actually be once they trim it back. And we print beyond the border with what we call a bleed. It bleeds past so that when we trim it, there's full color all the way to the edge. If we missed that trim, let's say we went, let's say we were going to cut right on that blue line, but we didn't have any artwork going past it, there's a chance if they're off even just a touch, you'll have a little bit of white on that edge, which is why we do a bleed. We bleed past, so there's plenty of room for margin and for error for the pages to slip around a little bit in production. The next is the live slash safety area, and what that means is this red line represents anything that you don't want to get accidentally either cropped off or maybe hit Hidden, you know, especially let's say this is a full page ad and and it's the spine is down the left hand side. Well, because of where the gluing is on the book and how it's produced, it might be difficult to read anything, you know, beyond this red line. It might get stuck in that fold a little bit, or vice versa. If this sits on the left hand side and this spine's on the right, same thing over here. So this red line just represents kind of your fence, your safety area to stay within so you don't lose important contact. Uh, information or other details, other content. So what I typically do, you can design past this with like a full color image or whatever, but any text, any web addresses or phone numbers stay within that red box. All right, so let's set up our file, the bleed size. So it's 8.625 inches wide. We do width by height. So it's always width by height here. Command C to copy that. We'll jump into Photoshop and create a brand new document. So I'm going to hit Command N to open up my new document window. Make sure you're using inches. Our width is 8.625 inches wide. Then let's jump back over to our PDF document here. And the next one is 11.125 inches. So that is our height, 11.125 inches. 300 DPI and we have our CMYK file set up so we're good to go. I'll hit OK. And now the first thing I always do when I get this far is hit Command S to save this document or save as if it's the first time you've done it. And I'll just go to my desktop for right now and we'll call this uh, Mountain Bike Full Page Ad. I'll hit save. All right, now we've got our document set up, but what I like to do is actually set up my guides as well. So the next area we need to do is our live safety area to know where that bound is going to be. So I'm going to make a 7.125 inch box by 10.125 or 10, 10, and that's an eighth of an inch. So let's jump over to Photoshop and I will create a new shape using my rectangle tool. I'll click and drag. It doesn't matter how big it is because what I'm going to do is hit Command T to free transform this. And by default, it uses a percentage, but we can actually key in a physical dimension. So that was 7.125. And now if I type I in for inches, it'll force that to be inches. And let's look at this just to make sure it was 7.125 by 10.125. So I'll make this height as 10.125. I N for inches. I'll hit return. Actually, I'll hit the enter key on my keyboard. And now I'll hit command A to highlight my whole canvas area, which gives me these align options here at the top. And I'll align it vertically and horizontally. And now what I'll do is I'll jump into my layers panel here. My artboard's kind of, or my uh, windows are kind of a mess. So I'm going to reset my essentials workspace. There we go. Let's drag this layers out here. And I'm going to, with this still marching ants selected here. I'm going to hit Command D to make uh, to deselect my selection. Make sure this layer is selected. And if you don't see these numbers across the top, that's your ruler. I'm going to hit Command R or go to View and down here to Rulers. Let's turn on your rulers because now we can drag down guides. 
Also make sure that you have snap turned on. And what that'll do, with this layer selected, we can drag down our guides and it'll snap to whichever layer is selected there. I can click and drag and now hold Alt to change it to a vertical ruler or just drag out from the left hand side here. So all I'm doing are creating guides for myself and I'll rename this and I'll call it safety. That way I know what my safety guide is. And then I'm going to duplicate this command J to jump cut it and I'm just going to hit Alt delete to fill it with black. It's just what happened to be on my foreground color. That way I see both versions here. And now I'm going to come back over to my Acrobat uh, PDF here and let's look at the trim size. So the trim size is 8.375 inches. So let's copy that by 10.875. So I'll come back into Photoshop, click once on this safety layer. I'm going to rename this to trim. I'll hit Command T to resize it. And that width was 8.375. Make sure I type inches or it's going to think that's a percentage. See how skinny that is? It thinks it's 8%, but I want it inches. So I'll do that. And then the height was, just double check one more time, 10.875. We'll paste that in and again, make sure you put in inches. Hit return. All right, and now I know it's centered, but just to make sure I hit Command A to highlight my whole canvas here. And now I'm gonna align that layer to the canvas. Command D to deselect. And then I'm going to hit Command left bracket key just to put that behind. So we can see the red is our safety. So any content we don't want accidentally cropped off or hidden in the fold goes in there. And then the black layer is our trim. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to drag in some guides, make sure that layer is selected so it snaps right to it. And the reason why we're doing this is because I don't want to have to keep that red and black box in here for right now. This was just to help me set up my guides. Now I can Command click, get both of those selected and put them in a folder or hit Command G to group them. We'll just call this guides. Now I can turn this layer off, but I can still see my guide. So I know anything beyond this top guide is going to get completely cut off. And then anything on in this area is going to be printed. But if we want to keep it safe, we keep it within these guides. Hopefully that makes sense. But now we're set up and ready to start collecting our assets for this file. So go ahead and save that one more time. And in the next lesson, we'll start pulling in our assets.